Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, happy Friday y'all. Hope y'all are doing amazing and having a good start to your weekend, okay? We're going to end the week like we always do with a love reading. I know I gave y'all a bonus the other day, but this will be how we close out the week like we always do. All right, so take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Leo Collective. I'm hearing it's a small world after all. You could run into somebody from your past. Somebody could live in um, Miami or maybe you live in California, like Disney World. Disneyland is in my head, all right? Um, some of you could be going on a trip. Or maybe you went to Disney on ice or something. I know this is around the time of the year that they normally... Um, I know the last time I took my kids to Disney on ice, I was pregnant with my, oh, it's been 13 years. She's 13. I was pregnant with my 13 year old. I was at the very beginning with the morning sickness. Oh, it was awful. But I wanted to take them, my two, you know, that I had at the time, I wanted to take them to Disney on ice. So I remember it being cold and I remember it either being January or February. So some of you could be going to something like that. My daughter actually asked to go, my youngest. Anyway, let's get into it. We have Voice of Reason. This is the Queen of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Libra Energy. This is about the Spirit of Discernment. Scorpio Energy is here as well. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Libra. We have Vacation. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Sagittarius. Libra. Some of you could be going on a vacation. Maybe you're going to Disney World. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. You could go on a vacation and you may run into somebody. Y'all ever had that happen before? You're on vacation and you run into somebody from your hometown. Like, what you doing here? <laughs> okay, so we have up, up, and away. Vacation, getaway. You can't make it up. Who's going on a vacation? Maybe that's why I heard a small world. Some of you could also be moving. This talks about running away, escaping, travel, relocation, moving, even for a job for some of you. But this talks about moving to calmer waters. Some of you have made a head over heart decision to cut somebody off. And we have stitches, healing, patching things up. So you might run into somebody that you think you're healing from um, or you're trying to heal from. And they want to reconcile with you. They want to patch things up with you. You know better though. You know not to give this person another chance. But that ain't going to stop them from trying. They could even be asking you to go on a vacation. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It talks about a stable offer, y'all. It also talks about a new job, a new car, a new home. Okay. We'll have to see what clarifies that. It represents one year. Some of you got this person off over the last year. Yeah, chariot. Vacation. Chariot. Some of y'all going on a trip. You could be going on a road trip. You could also be getting a new car here. This is wild. So this is where your um, divine feminine and divine masculine energy merge and work in accordance with one another. They have a tendency to want to go their own ways, right? You have the action-oriented masculine side and you have the more emotional feminine side here. But the, look how they're working together in tandem. This card is a card of success and victory and overcoming obstacles and moving forward. Making progress here. That's a nice card to have. You could be on a Cancer Leo cusp. I feel like you have you have definitely made a decision to cut someone off. You knew it was that it was what was best for you, and you moved forward. Um, and some of you literally could have moved away. What's up, up and away? Oh my God, the sun! You're going somewhere warm and sunny and fun. This could be for somebody's birthday. You could be going on a girls' trip, a guys' trip. There's something going on here. This could be for your children. So this is a card of like that youthful energy of children. There's a celebration or some fun times here. You, you feel like you feel good. But there's somebody lingering here that wants to heal with you. The Emperor. What's the Emperor? The Eight of Wands and the Lovers. Oh my God. Somebody wants you back. Some of you, this is a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or an Aries in your energy. This person is saying they're your divine masculine. You're their soulmate. You two belong together. Okay, this is communication coming in over the next eight days from someone possibly that you have a family with, or this is what they want with you. Okay, all right, let's get into it. Four, five, six was just on the timer. 
Show me voice of reason with the Ace of Pentacles. So your discernment, your discernment is being used here. You have the Hermit. You could be on the Leo Virgo cusp. That's Virgo energy. That's a major arcana. So you have withdrawn from this person. Oh, look what you withdrew from. The Devil, Capricorn energy. This is why you cut them off. Because they were in some kind of toxic energy. They were in an ego energy. Okay, low vibrational, toxic, dysfunctional, bad habits, unhealthy relationship. You was like, uh-uh, no more. No more. You could be trying to reestablish yourself after leaving this relationship, especially if you had to move out of a home where you divorced this person. I need to get my nails done, y'all. I'm getting my nails done soon. I have to because I can't keep walking around looking like I work on car cars. I can't do it, y'all. I wanted to get my nails a break because it was so brittle from that, you know, the overlay. But I got to go back. It's like, crack. I got to go back. Okay, let's see what's going on with Vacation and Chariot. The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work on a relationship with you, but you're focused on your money. Seven of Pentacles is somebody that's focused on the bread. You're like, I'm waiting for my ships to come in here. I done planted my seeds. Oh, that could also represent pregnancy. Let's see what's going on because that may be why you left somebody. They could have got somebody pregnant. They told you it was just a friend. With the eight of wands whatever's been going on for you financially is about to pick up your money is going to look really good something you've been patiently waiting for is expediting you got the chariot and the eight of wands the two fastest cards in the tarot deck some of you could be saving money for a trip or you just put it down put down a down payment you could even be thinking about where you want to travel to but things are picking up for you and i really do feel like you might either meet somebody new on vacation or you might run into this person or again they could be inviting you on a vacation not a vacation but a vacation but i feel like here what's happening is the seven of pentacles shows me that you're patiently waiting for the right one you don't want to be with someone who's the wrong one with all these addictions possibly drug alcohol addictions things like that or someone who just has a lot of bad habits they wanted to keep you codependent you've turned and gone your own way and i feel like you're almost i just heard from scratch like you're rebuilding your life I don't feel like you were like stripped of everything, but you know, you got to pick up the pieces after you come out of a long-term relationship. Some of you, it might have only been a year long. It doesn't matter how long it was. The point is you're moving forward. I do see you traveling, moving. There's some movement here and it's rather quickly. This is rapid action, rapid movement. This is also like strike while the iron is hot. This talks about perfect timing. Okay, so there's something here, some seed that you planted that's growing. And it, all of a sudden, it starts to grow really quickly. Because this card is a card of almost frustration, like waiting. Like, when is my seed going to grow into something? Some of you could also be pregnant and hurry. You want it to be over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's keep it moving. This could be a baby. This could be a baby or pregnancy as well. I might have to dig into that a little bit more. What's going on here with the up, up, and away with the sun? The queen of pentacles in reverse. See, that that's what I'm saying. This is Capricorn energy. Some of y'all, this is somebody's baby mama or something here. Or they got somebody else pregnant. I really feel like that. I keep telling y'all that. And this is somebody that's using them for their money. It keeps coming out. This is a gold digger. This is a very bad investment that they made. And look at this little baby here. That's a card of fertility and pregnancy, y'all. She's also fertile and pregnant as well. She represents pregnancy as well. It's in reverse. Now, somebody could have gotten an abortion. They could have had a miscarriage. Not you, but somebody else. I mean, that could be you, but I don't feel like it's you. If it is you, my condolences. If it's this person, you may or may not know about it. Show me. Um, This is a father figure. And I keep saying somebody could be having a paternity test going on here. we got the Eight of Wands again with the lovers, which represents a choice. So, yeah, there could be a choice between two people when it comes to the paternity of this father and this could be somebody they cheated with that word okay so we got the page of pentacles in reverse with the queen of pentacles the mother and the child of the pentacles you can't make it up this is an entitled so there's okay if this baby is already born if this is a child they already have with someone that you even know about these people use them for money it's so crazy because I know a Leo who's like this. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. <laughs> but Leo, you always come out in the sun energy. You feel like you are unbothered by it. You made a decision. You cut somebody off. You knew you had to do it. 
You're giving them the cold shoulder with the Queen of Swords being here. I feel like you cussed them out. Yeah, we got the lovers here again. We got the seven of swords and we got the ten of cups with the nine of wands. Sagittarius energy, ace of cups, ace of swords. There's new love coming in for you. Possibly a water sign or air sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius placements. You have relationship PTSD from dealing with this person. This was an ongoing battle. This is the wounded warrior. And look at this. Some of you could have even been in an abusive relationship. Even if it was verbally abusive or somebody playing mind games. There you go with the magician. That's mind games all day. They were juggling you with other people. A Capricorn, a Gemini, Virgo, an Aquarius. Possibly a Sagittarius. Some of you, you also have a child with this person. There could be communication coming in about this pregnancy or this other person that they're dealing with. So you got the lovers coming out twice. So look at this. Here you are having a family with someone, right? Possibly a baby with them. This is them sneaking away to go towards another love situation. Like, what are they doing? Why are they doing this? Or they were with you and they snuck away and they had a baby with someone else. There's another baby here. The Ten of Cups is a baby as well. It's a pregnancy. Women are pregnant for 10 months, not nine. I don't know why we say it's nine, it's 10. By the time you miss your first cycle, you're already four weeks pregnant. So that's all I got for you, Leo. Is there anything else I need to tell Leo? I'm being um, called to pull an oracle card for you. So let's see why Spirit is telling me to do that. This person wants to heal. They want your forgiveness for making the baby with someone else. It just keeps coming out. It's been coming out for almost a year now. This baby should be ready to go to preschool. Like, what is going on? Playing it cool, King of Cups, same place you started, voice of reason, level-headed, cool and calm amid chaos and mild-mannered. Spirit says all is well. The sun is also all is well. Everything is going according to plan. I feel you moving forward. I see new love for you. I actually see some of you might be already talking to someone with the Ace of Swords. That's communication. You may be talking to someone. I'll tell you the person that you're going to meet. And I think I've shared this with you several times over the last couple of readings. This person that you're going to meet is very um talkative <laughs> intelligent but they're also funny they're sweet they're caring they're compassionate okay very honest very honest brutally honest but no brutality just brutally honest direct blunt i'll just say direct and blunt cut straight to the chase no need for me to lie to you about nothing if i feel like i want to date other people i'm gonna tell you i want to date other people if I feel like I don't want to deal with you anymore, I'm going to tell you I don't want to deal with you anymore. This is the kind of person you're attracting. The kind of person that's not going to hold any punches. Okay. What do you need to know from me? What do you want to know from me? I'm going to share it with you because I care about you. I love you. And I don't want to be unfair to you. They are going to want to give you the choice whether you want to stay now. That doesn't mean that they're not going to be human and tempted and do things wrong. What I'm saying is they are the kind of person who will own up to it. Very logical, but also very emotionally um, balanced as well. This is someone with a lot of emotional intelligence, a lot of emotional maturity that's coming into your life. Whereas this past person does not feel like that. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Spirit is saying, go ahead and explore these new options. Enjoy it, y'all. I feel somebody really nice coming into your energy. Um, for some of you, it will be over the next year or you may already have met them over the past year. Enjoy it. You have three aces, the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of cups. The only thing that wasn't here was the ace of wands. And I feel like that's because you're cutting off sex. You might be celibate right now. <laughs> you might be abstinent right now. You might be saying, I'm going to make this new person wait before I jump into bed with them so I don't repeat certain mistakes. And that's a good thing to do. This is a card of control. Because they're definitely strongly attracted to you. Definitely going to come on very strong to you. But the lovers is a choice. So, you know, if you want longevity with the Ten of Pentacles here, you're going to have to make sure you pace yourself, okay? Did the Temperance card come out for y'all? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I moved all the cards. But yeah, there's a love situation coming in. I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they're going to bombard you with text messages and calls. They're going to be very attentive. This person is ready for a traditional relationship with you. It's your Divine Masculine. It's a match made in heaven. It's your vibrational match. And there's a lot of uh, physical attraction, chemistry between you two. This is a very take charge person. And they're very serious about you. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.